for the underhood portion of the pre-vehicle inspection, you want to check all your fluids. Transmission fluid has to be checked while running. You'll check your engine oil before that, your brake fluid, your coolant, your power steering fluid. You'll have to check both of your batteries. Diesel engines start with usually have two batteries. There's an eye that tells you the status. You want to check it for fluid, brake fluid, or uh, battery fluid on top. You want to check all your hoses for cracks, unnormal wear. You want to check your turbo lines, make sure your little rubber boots are in good condition. Now the turbo line here with good condition. Your radiator hoses. You want to check your radiator, make sure there's not an excessive amount of dirt or buildup in the front of it. Check your hood latch, make sure it is not bent. The hood will latch properly and stay down. Check the rest of your radiator lines that run across the top. Check your air filter status, there's a little gauge here. Check your other battery status, make sure it looks in good condition, doesn't have fluid on top or looks like it's been cooked up. Check your windshield washer fluid, make sure your windshield washer lines are all in good shape. Check all your electrical connections, all across the top of the motor, and all the lines across the top of your motor. Make sure no oil leaks are present on the engine. Now with the engine running, we're gonna go back to it. Check our transmission fluid, make sure the belt is not squealing, everything sounds good, make sure we cannot hear any leaks, vacuum leaks or air leaks or any type of leak on the engine. Now we're going to do the full walk around around the vehicle for the vehicle inspection. Generally I start in the driver's side front corner. Check all your steering components, check your tie rod ends, check your sway bar links, Bushings on your sway bars, your pins, your shock absorber, brake lines, ball joints. Make sure nothing looks excessively worn, cracked, or damaged. You want to check your rim. Make sure your rim's not cracked. Check your tire. Make sure it's evenly wear, not cracked, chopped out, missing chunks. Check your lug nuts. Make sure all your lug nuts look like they're about the same tension. None of them are loose. Look through your holes. Check your brake rotor, make sure it's not grooved, looks pretty smooth, not discolored, not cracked. Check your body panels, make sure everything is tight, mud flaps are tight, nothing can fly off. Check your mirror, make sure your mirror's not cracked, damaged. Check your step, make sure it's on tight, not damaged, not bent. All your body panels are good, the side of the truck looks good. You want to check, as you're walking by the frame, check. Make sure everything is secured properly, not damaged, not cracked, bolts are not loose. Get you your rear axle, go check your springs, make sure you don't have any springs cracked, broke, bent, damaged, bolts are all tight. Same as the front wheel, you want to check your lug nuts, check your tires, check your rims, check your hub, make sure it's not leaking. You could look through these, see your brake, make sure it looks shiny, not discolored. Not cracked. <clears throat> Tires are evenly, evenly worn. Side box, all your side box is closed tightly, secured. Body panels are all fastened tightly, look good. Doors closed, step looks good, hanging on, tight, welded. Doors are closed, latched on top, latched on the bottom, both latched have locks on them. Want to check your mud flap, make sure your mud flap is secured properly. Check your tail lights, make sure they're secured properly. Your, side, your box here is fastened, locked tight. Make sure your hitch, any kind of hitch you have, is bolted in. Make sure your doors are latched, top, bottom. Your bolts have locks on them, latched tightly. Another door on this side, it's closed, latched properly. Handles are good, handles are tight, it's not broke off. Side panel, access panel, Secured fast, secured properly, it's locked. Mud flap on this side is good. Exhaust, exhaust is tight, exhaust is good. Check your tires again, check your hub, lug nuts, rim. Check through to your brakes, brakes are good, smooth, shiny, no discoloration. Check your springs, springs are not cracked, springs are not bent, look good shape. Make sure everything, your step here is fastened properly. 
No leaks. I don't see any leaks in the rear end. Everything looks good underneath there. All your bolts are tight on your frame. All your stuff is secured properly onto your frame. Your door here, fastened tightly, locked, handled good. Depth cap is on. Everything that's hanging on the side panels is tight. Side panels look good. Make sure your side panel is not damaged. Door is latched properly. Step is tight. Mirror is tight. Mirror is not damaged. Mirror is not cracked. Everything is good with the mirror. Your side panel up here is tight. If you turn the wheel, you can see your brake caliper. Make sure it's not leaking. Make sure your lines are not pinched. They're all in good condition. Shock absorber is good condition. Check underneath for leaks. Check your suspension parts. Check your brake parts and your suspend and your uh, steering parts. See all your tie rod ends, your sway bar links, your sway bar bushings. Now we're going to check the lights on our truck. So you'll turn the headlights on in the front. You have a parking light. You have a headlight. Parking light. Headlight. Both mirrors have parking lights on, on them. You have cab lights, you have box lights up in the front. Another thing you need to check is your headlights go on high beam. Make sure both of them turn on. Then you can check your blinkers by turning your hazards on. You have a blinker on this side, you have a blinker on that side. You also have blinkers on your mirrors. For the rear, you may have to have someone else check them depending on the vehicle. On the rear of the vehicle, you've got box lights, marker lights up top, one on each side. They're all working. You have your parking or your lights down low and your parking lights. And then I turned on the hazard so you can check both of your blinkers on this vehicle. For load securement, you want to make sure everything is fastened down where it cannot move in transport. All the bolts are tight on this, bolts are tight on the vise. Racks are all fastened tightly to the wall. The toolboxes are all closed, latched, and locked. Now we're going to move to the in cab portion of the vehicle inspection. Upon opening the door, you want to check the cab for cleanliness. Make sure there's no clutter, nothing that could roll underneath the gas or brake pedal. Make sure your door panels are nice and clean and everything is all put the way where it should be. Once you're in the vehicle, you want to check and make sure you have all the proper paperwork. I have an insurance card, registration, and an annual inspection on the vehicle that's in date. You want to have your spare fuses. You want to have X spare lights. You also want to check your fire extinguisher. Make sure it's in the green, in date, has been inspected, and is mounted securely to the floor. You also want to check your triangles. Make sure they are mounted securely. Next, we're going to check the instrument cluster and the panel, the dash panel. Make sure all your knobs. Everything are in the correct place, not broke, good condition. Then you'll take the key, put it in the ignition, stuff lights up, turn the key on to the, to the position. All your lights light up, it should be lit up, and most of them turn back off. And then you will check your fastener seatbelt, check your seatbelt when you're fastening it, make sure it is not frayed, the buckle is in good working condition. Make sure it clicks and is then secured.